All right, so here we have a GEP RC GEP GR1408 motor. This one's 3500 kV. And I saw this uh, over at Banggood, so I ordered it because I was pretty curious to see how the 1408 compares to the 1407. Still trying to find a motor that's going to beat the famous brother hobby and also the other motors that are giving it a pretty good competition. The Roro Geeks 1407s, uh, the X Nova 1407 and the RCX 1407s. As we all know those motors are at the top of the rankings uh, as far as 1407 size. So I thought this would be an interesting size to see if the extra millimeter in stator height would give it a, a good advantage. So I just got it uh, a couple of days ago, so I want to put it through the test and see how it compares. So as we can see here, it's rated for 2 to 4S, propeller 3 inches. So GEPRC uh, wasn't aware that this company made uh, motors until I saw this 1408. So it comes in this uh, box, kind of fancy I guess. Uh, Motor is actually not uh, budget, uh, considering its price is about fourteen fifty, almost fifteen bucks, I think. So they send it to you in this box with a nice dense foam. So it just give you pretty standard stuff: a few mounting screws, very very short screws. Oh, I see. They give you some extra e clips. So the motor itself, kind of different looking with the way they did this belt right here and nice color titanium color or lady color so pretty standard bill on the motor so on the website they're saying it's made out of uh, 7075 aircraft grade aluminum they're saying the magnets are n52 curve magnets they're saying it's rated 2s to 3s for three inch props so that's that's what they're saying there but as we all know, you know, uh, 1407s are able to run 4-inch props, no problem. So we'll we'll test these with 4-inch uh, props on 4S and see see how it works. The quality of the build of the motor is actually pretty good. Actually, looks looks pretty nice, pretty classy. I think uh, this color uh, is not used that much by motors, but I always like this uh, kind of gunmetal titanium color so let's see what it weighs and they do give you about 100 100 millimeters worth of wire so so with that much wire let's see what it weighs and they're saying the motor weighs 15.2 grams so so 15.9 with 100 millimeters worth of wire so yeah I would imagine 50.2 is it's quite right uh, if you if you get rid of 150 millimeters of wire, that's just about, uh, that should be just about, this is way less than 150 and that's 0.7 grams. So, so definitely, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be 50, it's going to be even less than 15.2 uh, if you cut the wires completely. So the weight on the motor is actually quite good, pretty good, uh, pretty comparable for, to 1407 to standard 1407 so that's quite good uh, uh, we're getting an extra millimeter of height uh, on the stator and weight is actually pretty good even even the same as some 1407s I would say so let's uh, let's take it apart uh, let's take that uh, e-clip out and let's check it out uh, up close alright so remove the E clip uh, pretty easily, so the the bell comes off pretty pretty easily. Uh, so yeah, I would say those uh, those magnets look look kind of curved. Although uh, for this size of motor, you don't you don't see the curvature that much because they're so narrow. But uh, yeah, they look they do seem to have a little bit of a curve there. So that's good. And then the stator laminations, yeah, they definitely look to be 0.2 millimeters. Uh, let's measure the stator height. So as best as we can measure here with this ruler, uh, yeah, it looks to be the standard 8 millimeter height on the stator. So pretty good. And the uh, windings, yeah, look. They look pretty decent, pretty nice. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with the windings there. They look, they look pretty good. 
I don't see, yeah, there's some, looks like they've done a balancing, there's some balancing epoxy there on the, on the top of the bell there, and a little bit right there it seems, so, yep, it's been dynamically balanced, and there seems to be a grub uh, screw right there for the shaft. Although, you know, these days, uh, uh, don't know how that, uh, well, that, you know, that keeps the shaft in place. Uh, I don't know that you can replace those shafts. I don't, haven't seen them available as replacement parts. And so this is a two millimeter shaft. So, I mean, uh, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary with the way the motor's been built. Uh, Magnets look uh, pretty pretty good thickness too. So so let's put it together and let's put it on the thrust stand and let's see how it does and we'll compare it against uh, the other 1407s and let's see if this motor is a good option for uh, replacement for 1407s. So let's go to the thrust stand. Alright, so here are the thrust test results for the GEP-RC GR 1408 3500KV. The motor measure at uh, 3410KV, it's slightly lower than the spec 3500KV. Uh, On the 3 inch prop, uh, the motor is pretty much performing very similar to the other 1407s. As you can see with the Lumineer 3040x3, 600 uh, grams, pretty similar to all the other 1407s. Although it seems that uh, it is using slightly lower amps, so it's got that going for it, it uh, lower uh, uh, lower amps, uh, it means it's a little bit more efficient. And it's, m it's making pretty decent thrust, uh, even with the 4045, 761, uh, again, pretty pretty much the same as the 1407s, but it's using lower amps, so, so that's pretty good that's where this motor could uh, turn out to be useful uh, they do mention on the product page that the motor is rated for 22.3 uh, amps uh, it's it's you know they clearly tell you that's the maximum current you should put through on this motor uh, they also do mention that the motor has been designed for 4s lipo and especially for 3 inch propellers so so they kind of warn you um, that was the the design target. Uh, when running this uh, four inch props uh, we saw a little bit of smoke uh, but you know the one thing to keep in mind is that this is static thrust and it's where you put the most stress on a motor and in the air it's not gonna be the same it's gonna be a lot lower amps about 30 to 35 percent lower so that puts us well below the uh, the max rating that the motor has so you should be okay running these four inch props in the air once in the air you know it's, we're not gonna have these amps so this should be okay 
even the 5 inch prop should be okay I think uh, even though it's showing 28 amps here when we're in the air it's gonna be 35% uh, less so that'll be fine I think it'll be within the specs but again it seems like the motor was pretty much aimed at 3 inch props it does show that it's a little bit more efficient than the 1407 we'll do a quick side by side against the brother Javi and see how it uh, see how it compares alright so let's have a quick look here the Lumineer 3040 by 3 as you saw it's pretty much the same thrust 600 uh, grams basically at about the same amps actually that's kind of uh, interesting the brother hobby is pretty efficient too as well I thought it was it was more I didn't quite remember all right so let's uh, have a side by side against the brother hobby 1407 3600 kV which is actually closer to 3500 kV so so they're both uh, pretty close in kV uh, although this one came in uh, at 3400 so there there's probably about a hundred kV difference uh, so keep keep that in mind uh, but as we can see on on the smaller uh, three inch props uh, we can definitely see the brother Javi is a little bit better is doing just slightly ever so slightly better because of the advantage on the KV uh, here we see 556 on the 3030 by 3 then uh, let's look at the Lumineer 3040 by 4 that's another uh, prop that shows a motor's performance and here we see they're actually neck and neck they're practically identical at 600 and 18 point 18 and a half basically amps as we move higher on the props the more aggressive prop tj4045 the dal a four inch prop uh, we can see that the brother Javi did surprisingly well at 843 at 27 amps the get RC just kind of fell behind a little bit but at pretty decent amps that's a pretty good uh, match right there even though the motor as you saw was getting a little bit of smoke uh, I think that once in the air it should not overheat uh, because the load is gonna be a lot less but you know don't take my word for it uh, that that's just my best uh, guess and then uh, when we go to the 4045 the gap is getting 761 versus 748 so it's getting a little bit ahead so i guess the taller stator is kind of coming into play and the uh, amps are about the same so that, that's pretty interesting uh, the next one it would be the t4045 by three again the this the gap rc is uh, pulling ahead uh, so the taller stator is helping quite a bit so for basically the same amps we're getting slightly more thrust that's pretty good i mean the motor actually has pretty good potential so the only thing is it seems like the wire is a little bit weak as you saw it was pouring smoke so that's kind of a, a little bit disappointed there on that and uh, on the 5030 prop again the this uh 1408 is pulling away a little bit more at nearly the same amps overall the motor has pretty good potential the only thing is the the winding so that's something to look for uh if you use this motor with these uh, more aggressive props the four inch props i just check the motor temps after a short flight just make sure you can hold it in your hand as long as it's comfortable to hold after a couple of uh, runs with as much throttle as you can give it then it'll be fine nothing to worry about like i said you know right here on the thrust stand it's really punishing the motor a lot and they quickly overheat if it's near the limit but once you fly you know you're gonna have uh, cooling air the props are gonna unload and the amps are gonna be a lot lower you know we're talking about you know even 25 to 30 amps lower that'll put these numbers well below the spec as you saw on the specs they said uh, around 23 amps is what they recommend for max so overall an okay motor just a little bit worrying on the wire that was used for the windings pretty much all the 1407s are able to drive all these props without smoking so you know that's something to think about looks like the 1408 would be a pretty good size to have just uh, slightly higher than a 1407 slightly bigger so that's something to think about uh, for the factories maybe somebody wants to develop a 1408 with all the bells and whistles super light quads are kind of becoming popular all right so that's the review for this motor hope you find the information useful and as always thanks for watching and until the next video